shall we focus more on the current affairs or on the static conceptual part while preparing for the UPSC civils examination. I have observed that some students spend more time on current affairs mainly because in the YouTube channels or in the online platform in the general media mostly there will be current affairs material. The reason is current affairs is very dynamic and hence most of the YouTube channels or educational institutions that run the YouTube channels daily put the current affairs material because of which some students may be thinking that they have to spend more time on current affairs due to which what they will be doing is they will be reading one or two newspapers, one or two monthly magazines, they will see one or two videos on the YouTube on the current affairs analysis in that way they will spend more than 50% of their time only on the current affairs. This I do not encourage. I personally feel that you should balance your time between the current affairs and preparation of static conceptual parts. However, if you ask me specifically which one we have to focus, I would say you have to focus more on the static basic conceptual part. Why? Because if you are very strong in this basic part, the conceptual static part, if you are very strong, automatically reading of current affairs becomes very easy, understanding of current affairs issues becomes very easy, even answering the prelims and mains questions also will be easier. For example, in the mains examination, you take geography. If the question is about recent floods or regarding the urban floods, maybe the question has come in UPSC GS1 because of recent urban floods that occurred in Chennai or Hyderabad or Mumbai. So, the question might have come. But while answering the question, you should know what are urban floods, how do they occur, what are the various reasons for it and how they can be addressed. That can be answered even without reading any of the current FS issues if you basically read the fundamental urban floods concept from the static part. Similarly, in the polity, let us say recently maybe in Uttarakhand or Arunachal Pradesh or some other state or maybe in Karnataka or some other state, maybe governor has used his discretionary powers. So, the question in polity GS2, the question may be on whether these discretionary powers of the governor is reasonable, is it constitutionally valid or not. If the question comes, then even if you do not know the current type of issue, you can still answer the question if you have read the basics of governor's powers discretionary powers of the governor, if you understood very well the concept, you can explain it very clearly. But if you have read current affairs, you may give one or two examples of the recent happenings. Otherwise, if you do not give also, still you can write the answer. Same with any other paper, for example, take GS3. In GS3, for example, the question is about the GDP growth or inflation targeting or the question is about the recent agricultural problems, anything. You should essentially know what is inflation, whether inflation can be targeted, what shall be the economic policy or fiscal policy, what RBI can do, what finance ministry can do, all those things you have to learn from the static conceptual part. That makes majority of your answer. Only some 20 to 30 percent of points can be from current affairs. So, even prelims also, in prelims there may be some questions which are purely from current affairs facts that of course you can answer only from the current affairs. But those questions which are a combination of current affairs and static conceptual part, you can answer the question if you know the static part very well, you can in fact guess the answer. So, I would say that you have to fundamentally become strong in the conceptual, static and basic parts. So, I would suggest you that if you prepare 10 hours for UPSC every day, you have to ideally spend some 5 to 6 hours on the core part, core part. In fact, up to 7 hours on the conceptual part and optional part and spend only 3 hours, 2 to 3 hours on the current affairs, that should be enough. So, finally, try to balance your preparation time, amount of time you spend and amount of resources you read, try to balance between the current affairs and the core books, the static books.